Hello world, this is Jake Short, husband, father, realtor, and former home inspector. I'm glad that you're joining me today for What's New in Williams this week. There are a couple events on this list that I am particularly excited for. The following events are for the week of November 10th, 2021. I hope to see you all at some of these events. So let's dive right in. First on the list today, Christmas tree permits are available at the Kaibab National Forest. You heard it right. If you would like to cut down your own Christmas tree this year, permits are available for the Kaibab National Forest through the website recreation.gov. Please know that permits are limited to one per household, and of course, they will be issued on a first come, first serve basis. I do know that up to five trees can be purchased on a single permit at $15 per tree. Uh, this next bit is my favorite part. Fourth grade students can get a free Christmas tree through the Even Every Kid Outdoors program by simply entering their pass ID at recreation.gov. So get out there and get your homemade holiday Christmas tree on. Uh, the next bit of business here, I just happen to be super excited about this one because the Aquatic Center here in Williams has an open house on November 13th. That's this coming Saturday, folks. The open house is going on from 3 to 7 p.m. located right here at the Aquatic Center in Williams. Everybody is invited to attend. Come check out the pool, the facilities, ask questions, and right now there's a program called Let's Get the Pool Open. <laughs> Information about that will be available during the open house. Everybody watching this video, I strongly encourage all of you to come to the open house, ask questions, let's get together and get the pool back open. The kids miss it, the adults miss it. I personally have never been there. I want to check it out, so let's get it open. Let's do it together. Sound good? All right, next bit of business. The Save Meant to Rescue Animal Shelter is holding its annual enchilada sale. I do like me some yummy enchiladas. The proceeds of the enchiladas go to the rescue dogs at the Save MTR Animal Shelter, which is located here in Williams at 301 West Route 66. For more details about the enchilada sale, you can either head to williamsnews.com and click on the community calendar, which is where I'm reading all this from, or reach out to me directly and I'll hook you up with the correct phone numbers. Sound like a good plan? Enchiladas, guys. Uh, the deadline to place the orders for your enchiladas is November 20th, that's coming up. And orders can be picked up November 24th from 10 a.m. to noon at the Williams Rec Center. One last note, prices vary from $13 to $18 per dozen depending on if you want chicken, cheese, or an onion enchilada. Next bit of news, the 18th annual Holiday Craft Show comes to Williams November 27th. Mark your calendars, more than 30 vendors will be at the world famous Sultana Theater in downtown Williams from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Proceeds from this event also benefit the Save MTR Animal Shelter. So come on down, show your crafty side, and get some cute pics with your pets. This next event is an important one. St. Mary's Food Bank delivers food boxes for Valley residents on the second Thursday of each month. That means November 11th, that's today, and December 9th, are the calendar dates for these two, for the next two months of food bank distributions. This happens at the Cinder Pit located just south of the Valley Airport. And that's on State Route 64, and it happens from 10 to 11.30 in the mornings of the second Thursday of each month. Uh, next up, there's a new drop-off location for the Kiwanis Club of Williams Coat Drive. Gently used or new coats can be dropped off at the Williams Visitor Center in downtown Williams. Used coats are cleaned by Audgens Cleaners and Flagstaff and then distributed at the food pantry for those in need. Uh, this next one is pretty splendid. Although today, November 11th, was the due date for the applications for the annual Christmas light parade, I have word from the Christmas committee that they will accept late applications even up to the morning of the light parade. We send a huge thank you out to the committee for that. That's amazing. Thank you for doing that. For all of you wanting to be in the parade, this year's theme is Heroic Christmas. Applications are available at the Williams Grand Canyon News Office, which is located here in Williams, uh, 118 South 3rd Street, ask for Connie. Or you can go to the Williams Visitor Center at 200 West Railroad Avenue, ask for Pimi. 
You can also email me and I'll get you the application. Uh, this next one, this is a fun one. For all of you basketball stars out there, the Williams High School Gym opens its doors to high school students and adults for practice and play Mondays and Wednesdays from 7 to 9 p.m. Next up, we have Rotary members or prospective Rotary, Rotary members out there. You're all invited to attend the meetings, the Rotary meetings, on the last Wednesday of each month at noon sharp. Meetings are at Miss Kitty's Steakhouse, located on the eastbound one-way street in downtown Williams. The address is 643 East Route 66. Uh, moving down the list here, ah, here we go. Let's all get involved with our excellent city of Williams. Come on down to the city council meetings held on the second and fourth Thursdays of each month. Meetings are at City Hall, which is located on First Street. If you could be there at 7 p.m., please be prompt. You can head to williamsaz.gov for meeting agendas. And on the last order here, we are all invited to attend the Williams Unified School District number two governing board meetings. They're held on the second and fourth Wednesdays of each month. Meetings are at the Williams High School Cafeteria located on 7th Street. The meetings are at 6 p.m. Please see WUSD2.org for meeting agendas. All right, folks, that's a wrap. It's going to be another great week here in Williams, Arizona. I hope to see you at some of these events, maybe all of them. We'll see how it goes, right? Oh, also, everyone, please bear in mind that I'm pulling this information, these events, directly from williamsnews.com. There's a community calendar up there that's updated every Tuesday, so you can go check it out for yourself if you need more details. However, I will continue posting a video just like this every week if you want to find out what's going on in our awesome city of Williams. Oh, before I go, I want to throw one more thing your way. Uh, this is a message primarily to the parents of our Williams uh, school kiddos. Uh, this hopefully is, is not the first time you're going to hear about this, but there are two TikTok challenges currently that are spreading quickly and they've reached our schools here in Williams. One challenge is dubbed the Devious Lick Challenge. Most recently, this has consisted of bathroom vandalism, including the removal of soap dispensers, electric hand dryers, these things coming off bathroom walls. It's happening here in our Williams. So everyone, please be on the lookout for any activity that looks suspicious in this way and let somebody of authority know if you see anything odd. The second challenge is called homie scrapping. Kids are fighting their friends and they're filming it for TikTok. Uh, Superintendent Evans recently said, start quote, you have kids who may be harmlessly scrapping with each other in a video. But even if it's a friend and you start swing, swinging at each other, someone's either going to get hurt or both individuals are going to get hurt. At some point, it's not really friendly anymore." End quote. So parents, let's band together and try to cease this nonsense. I personally removed TikTok from all of my devices. Our kiddos do not need to be exposed to these trends. That's all for now. Thanks for tuning in. Next time, I may not walk and talk. That was kind of a challenge, but remember, if you stick with me, you can always expect better. God bless everybody.